Did you see this? That's extreme sport athlete Chuck Patterson. He's not just surfing at Mavericks in Northern California. He's skiing through those giant waves. Pretty hard to believe, right? Well, he joins us now to talk about that skiing adventure. Uh, good morning to you, Chuck. You know, we've been seeing that video all morning. Pretty impressive. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. Yeah, it's, um, I don't know, I grew up skiing when I was uh, two years old, and so it's always been in my blood, and then got into big wave surfing after, so it was kind of a cool thing to blend the two, and a little spicy, obviously something way different, but uh, nowadays it's uh, being ordinary is a little too ordinary. <laughs> yeah, you know, we're looking at that video, we just saw it right now, are the skis that are behind you, were those the skis you used? Yes, yes, these are uh, basically custom water skis with a snow ski influence and then you can see they've got um, bindings that are like your regular ski bindings and I use regular ski boots so obviously if I do fall we're uh, looking at uh, you know it's it's I can't really click out of them easy right. and it's like wearing cement shoes <laughs> yeah feel, feel free too to show us those skis if you want but I have to ask you for for folks watching at home who really aren't sure exactly skis. what is ski surfing you know they're just seeing it on TV what is it and what made you want to try it out, you know, get you started in that? Um, basically, wave skiing is one of those things where, you know, skiing for a long time. And I had a good friend of mine, Shane McConkey, who uh, passed away, but a Red Bull athlete, big skier that took water skis down um, a big ski mountain in um, Alaska. And then, uh, you know, since I was doing the big wave thing, um, he's all, dude, you'd be a perfect candidate to try you know, taking water skis down uh, a wave. And um, I tried it and didn't like it at first because I took jumper water yeah. skis and uh, they didn't really turn that great. And then I had some friends, um, you know, Cody Townsend and uh, Mike, who basically redefined the design and tried them out. And then after I saw that, I tried it and uh, was blown away how well they work. I mean, it's kind of like skiing on a slushy day, um, yeah. just doing big GS turns. And, uh, it's amazing how well they work. I mean, it's not for every spot, but for a big wave, um, just one of those fun things doing something different. I mean, I still surf the big waves, but uh, I just like, you know, doing something different out of the box. <laughs> yeah, and 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 let's let's see. Uh, check out that ski you have uh, in your hand too. And also, uh, while you're describing that, I want you to answer too. What would you say is harder, surfing or ski surfing? I think, uh, I mean, I, I call it wave skiing, but it's it's all the same. Yeah. I think waves, uh, you know, skiing on the, you know, or riding the uh, skis is definitely hard. You're dealing with two separate, you know, um, boards versus one. You get a lot more glide out of a regular board, obviously. And with the skis, it's a little tough, so you always have to be in the power zone. And the bigger the wave, the better. And uh, as long as it's peeling one direction um, and doesn't close out, um, because when, when it breaks in front of me or whatever, and, right. and I'm in the wrong spot, um, I'm not able to jump out of my skis. So the, uh, the, the carnage could be pretty serious. Well, it looks pretty <laughs> technical too, right there in front of you. Yes. Yeah. So they're right here and you can see the, uh, normal old ski bindings and they've got a wood core and, um, Ryan McDermott is one of the guys that shaped them for me. So it's a very simple shape. And then the bottom, there's nothing two different, kind of like a water ski, and then there's a little fin in the back to kind of keep it for, you know, tracking straight. And um, they're about five feet long, and they turn awesome, but uh, you definitely have to uh, kind of have the, the, you know, the big wave knowledge right. to know where to be, and then obviously be able to ski at an aggressive level to, uh, to handle it. Let's but talk about the reaction. It's a lot of fun. The reaction, too, because I'm sure you're getting a <laughs> lot of praise, right? Uh, yeah, you know what? It's, uh, I'm actually was super stoked. Uh, I know a lot of the big wave community. It's a great brotherhood. A lot of great people. Really good respect. Spent my time out there, um, so I was really stoked to to hear the cheers. You know, when I was dropping in, and got a lot of you know great compliments from big wave surfers, from you know Kai Lenny to Peter Mel, and and it it's it's great. Then there's a lot of people that look at it as it's a giant circus act. Well. For me, I'm having a blast doing something different. I've skied my entire life, and I love big wave surfing. So it's just one of those things. It was a bucket list. I wanted to do it on this great swell that we had at Mavs. And 
fortunately I got one wave, which, you know, Hey, I mean, you yeah. know, I'm super grateful and, uh, I made it out alive and, and I'm here, you know, smiling, ready to do it again another day. Yeah. Most important, <laughs> right? Okay. Talking more about that bucket list. Is there anything else now that you've already accomplished this? What's next? I mean, for me, I would love to take these skis and um, try to get a giant barrel in um, Tahiti at Chopu. Oh. I mean, that would be my bucket list or get a giant wave at Nazare. But if it doesn't happen, I'm super stoked on the things I've done. And I've done so many different sports that for me, I'm just stoked to be out in the elements every day. All right, Chuck. Well, we appreciate your time this morning. Good luck and stay safe. Thank you.